through your ultimate team coin needs, check out utcoinsforyou.com. There will be a link in the description. And if you use the code CHEZ, you can get yourself a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Says back again with episode number one of the brand new career mode series here on Xbox One. It's Atletico Madrid. You guys have voted in your hundreds and Atletico were the team that came out on top. Just quickly as we start off, 30% increase in transfer budget or global transfer network and extra top quality scout are the two options. I went for the scout just to keep things a little bit more realistic. Don't want to throw loads of money at a transfer budget and try and make uh, you know a top, top quality side uh, immediately. I want to kind of go down the, uh, the more realistic route. So uh, we went with the top scale we're obviously starting on world class six minutes a half and uh, we let the uh, the board difficult stay at moderate so we don't get loads of money from players we sell on but we get enough to be able to bring in some quality replacements so basically of course as with uh, with the start of any career mode series feel free to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already to make sure that you don't miss out on any of this new series but let's find out what the board want for us and of course there's only one domestic cup competition in spain as opposed to the fa cup and league cup in england that we did have with the previous Chelsea career mode. So uh, they want us to reach around a 16 of the Copa del Rey, which is perfectly fine by me. Really, really realistic target and uh, definitely something we can do. But they want us to win the league, which is definitely going to be a particularly difficult challenge. Of course, you've got Real Madrid and Barcelona, the two massive two horses in, uh, in La Liga. But you've got teams like... To, like Real Sociedad and Valencia that can definitely cause some problems when it comes to the top of the table. So I do definitely want to compete at the top and uh, qualify for the Champions League at the very least in this first season. Whether we can win the title or not remains to be seen. But uh, one of the first things that you have to do is check the squad that you've got, see where you need to strengthen. And to be completely honest, the first team is very, very strong indeed. I'm going to stick with the 4-4-2 for now just to see how we get on through the pre-season games to see how I like the formation. But I may revert back to the uh, the 4-2-3-1 uh, system that we used at Chelsea because I know that I'm uh, very very comfortable with that system but if I get on with this 4-4-2 then we'll keep it the way things are but a very very strong starting lineup Courtois Juan from Miranda Godin Felipe Luis very very strong defence Mario Suarez Gabby Koke and uh, Arda Turan in the midfield Koke is more of a central midfielder for me rather than a winger so I may look to move him infield and buy a winger and then up top of course Diego Costa and David Villa David Villa a seasoned veteran of the highest quality. And Diego Costa gets a second chance with me. Of course, we brought him in in the first season of the Chelsea career mode. He didn't set the world alight and I moved him on. But he gets a second crack of the whip. Can he impress me second time around? We'll have to wait and see. We've got a good replacement on the bench for striker in Adrian. But we do need replacements or in reinforcements rather than replacements, I guess, in uh, in all positions if particularly possible because uh, whilst we have a very very strong 11 there isn't that much depth in the squad there are a lot of youngsters there that will be either going out on loan or just being sold on to open up space to bring in some new players because uh, the squad as it stands is already quite full we have 40 of the allowed 42 players on our books already so I'm going to need to move some players out before I can bring some players in so uh, this is how the, uh, the transfer situation stands at the minute with our current club I've put two players up for transfer two youth players up for transfer as well as a couple more that you can see me putting up now uh, there are quite a few players there I've listed for loan as well the younger players that uh, you know are still in their teens I've put for loan whereas those that are kind of over 20 and still rated quite low and don't necessarily jump out at me as a player that could uh, perform a task as a rotation player they've gone on the transfer list we do have a lot of players out on loan that I can potentially recall especially players like Oliver Torres, Leo Baptiste Bauer, Gulliver Gouy I'm not really too sure whether I've pronounced it that right. Uh, Gula Vogui, um, I don't know. We'll come back to his name later. Silvio is a decent, uh, a decent right back that could do a job for us. And of course, Sergio Hesenho might be right required in the second season because Courtois will be leaving us at the end of this year. Because of course, he is only on loan from Chelsea for the first season. So well, that is something we'll have to come to later on in the series. But for now, I, I definitely want a replacement or a, a reinforcement at right back because uh, we've only got one friend at left back. We do have uh, Felipe Luis and Emiliano in sewer, so I'm quite strong at left back. Centre backs, I'm going to need at least one replacement because Toby Alderweireld isn't going to be able to do the job on his own as a replacement for Godin and uh, and Miranda. And uh, of course, we still need strikers and midfielders a lot. I'm going to go for wingers as opposed to uh, central midfielders. There are a lot of central midfielders, and like I say, even though Koke in the starting lineup is a right mid, I do prefer to play him in a more central position. So I'll be moving him in and uh, potentially looking for uh, some more wingers because we only really have Arda Turan and Christian Rodriguez as out-and-out -out wide players. So we're definitely positions to be filled, and uh, I need you guys to come come uh, come true or come good in the comment section. Throw me.
me loads of suggestions for players to buy. I'm going to try and keep things a little bit more realistic and perhaps buy uh, from within Spain, within La Liga. So uh, as you can see, I've already looked at loaning Danny Carver Hell. We're looking at Inigo Martinez as a potential centre back and the Herrera from Atletico Bilbao as a potential centre mid coming in. Um, and there are plenty of other options coming at you over the uh, the next uh, minute or so. I'm throwing in bids for uh, for loads of players. I've put inquiries in for even more, and I still want your guys' suggestions as well. This uh, this preseason lasts for quite a while, so uh, hopefully we can uh, we can throw in bids for quite a lot of players and get a good feel of. Uh, where we might be able to improve as opposed to uh, where we're already quite strong. So uh, like I say, we're going to need players right back, centre back, centre mid, wide and a striker. Because I'd like to have four strikers as opposed to just Diego Costa, David uh, Villa and uh, and Adriana. Would be nice to have a fourth one as well, just in case. Because uh, of course with the uh, with the Chelsea career mode, we have been hit with, a, or we were hit with a couple of big injuries uh, throughout the two seasons that we spent there. So uh, I do want to have as many replacements as I possibly can do. As you can see, we're throwing in a bid for uh, for Raphael just to kind of test the waters and uh, we have put a bid in for Hugo Mayo as well the Celta Vigo right back is only 22 and he does have quite a lot of potential as well so uh, I'm definitely looking to him as you can see here we uh, we had the initial bid uh, rejected so I'm offering a little bit more going to offer 4.5 for him because he does look very very good indeed so uh, he's going to be one of the players we're looking to buy but again like I say I'm going to be looking for suggestions from you guys in the comment section so go ham with them and uh, of course try and hit the like button well not try and hit the like button please do hit the like button if you enjoy this series can we go absolutely mental and get say 200 likes on this opening episode that would be absolutely superb if you aren't subscribed to the channel already like i say feel free to do so there will be an annotation on the screen over the youtube emblem there and the subscribe button to do so uh, of course later on in the series there'll be a link on the left hand side to the previous episode this being episode one there isn't one and of course feel free to follow me on twitter as well at chesnoy gaming there'll be a link to that in the description down below but that's all for this first episode guys we'll have another one tomorrow so thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time